in the wilderness. Blood on the box is back. I am really sorry about last week. Really Just too busy. I couldn't get it done. And, uh, well, doesn't matter. We're here. Um, so, again, um, I've got a new guest. I know a lot of you... Um, I've been asking, can we try and get some other other coach on when we went before? And like I said to you, I'll try and do my best. And uh, I'm glad to announce we have Banana Hands uh, on the show with us now then. Banana Hands, how are we feeling today? Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Good. From the United States, here we go. Good yeah. Good to the U.S. Yeah, and I noticed on, on your, on your uh, picture you've got the Washington Redskins uh, helmet. So obviously I presume you're a big Redskins fan. Oh, diehard Redskins fan. Diehard Redskins fan. Uh, unfortunately, that is. Yeah, well, you know. They're terrible. Yeah, I mean... They're, they're, they're absolutely awful this year. <laughs> I, I, are you a Kirk Cousins fan? Uh, I do like Kirk Cousins. I, I, I really would like... I, I hope we re-sign him. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, uh, the Redskins have done absolutely the wrong thing at every turn in this negotiation, so I wouldn't be surprised if we mucked it up uh, again. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah. I thought when they got the uh, I can't remember his name now the cornerback they got from Carolina, um, Norman is it? He, oh, Josh Norman, yeah. Jano. That's right. I, I was like, oh my god, that that that's a serious, you know, signing. And I thought, you know what, they could they could go things with Cousins, who I thought was a decent, solid quarterback. Um, but yeah, it's just not happened, has it? But hey. Well, he, he leads the NFC in passing yards this year. Uh, mm. He's the second only in the NFL to Tom Brady, and and the Redskins still think that he's you know. Just an average guy. It's crazy, but hey, that's, you know, another conversation yep. for another day. It is. Yeah, it's know. crazy. It's crazy. But anyway, so here we go then. Um, well, you know, we sorry to talk about that because obviously the, the, it gives them time to get the seats, get the popcorn all like, get it all ready for us to start talking about the proper stuff. So uh, let's get on with it. So, as always, we start with a pole position now in Season 11. That team um, is Vashy and Flashy, the um, coach gnome slayer. And um, yeah, it's Lisbon Lisbon team record of twenty one five and four, so not bad. But I he's he's believe, a great coach. Yeah, I played him. Um, I I could have sworn it wasn't long ago that this team was undefeated, unless it was another team I got mixed up with. Um, they were they were not undefeated not long ago. I actually lost to him uh, two to one. Uh, yeah, it's, he got a bunch. He got eight armor breaks on my dwarves, and I, I only had got four on him. Uh, it was an intense game. He uh, he had me pretty much most of the way. Yep. yep. Yeah, he's, he's he's a very good coach. I mean, again, you see, um, he's lost his last two, and then obviously he lost to Mute Death, a Chaos team there as well. Um, well the, 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 the problem, the problem <sighs> with Lizards, um, there, there's so many negatives about them. That's what I don't like about Lizards. I have played them, and I have had great success with them, but... The higher the TV goes, the more of a problem they become because obviously you bump into kill teams like the Chaos or the Chorfs and uh, Nagle and Claude just and you know just goes straight through the the Soros armor, um, shreds them, shreds you know, them, and, and obviously dwarfs are another one what we we tackle. And then you've got the elves because when you get to like his TV, you'll have some leapers in there, jump into the cage, and if you haven't got a strength three skink or you haven't got guard, they're just gonna come in and punch his lights out. So there's a lot of lot of like weaknesses to have. On the plus side, you know, the skinks are fast, the nimble, and these he's. I always think you can always tell a good sign of a, a, a Lisbon team by how good the skinks are, and he's got some very very nice skinks. Um, but again, you know, I mean, I, I think, I mean, he's a great coach, and that, and you know, he, when you put a decent team with a great coach, it's always going to do well. Um, I don't. Know, I mean, what do you like about this exactly team? Right. Uh, again, his skinks are fantastic. I tried my best to knock them out, but my whole strategy when going against uh, uh, lizard men, especially if I, if I was playing dwarfs, I don't have the claw. He's gonna outstrength me. My whole objective with my tackle is to take out the skinks and leave them to one agility players. Unfortunately, uh, I just couldn't do it. He's got a strength three skink who was pretty tough. Uh, he was able. To, he successfully split his team up to where my, my dwarves were not able to cage around a certain area and hold his sore eye and to not be able to, to dodge out. He played an excellent an excellent game uh, uh, movement-wise and, and placement, excuse me, for his placement. It was fantastic, honestly. And he, he plays really well. His skinks are great. And if you could stop his skinks, you know, I feel like you have a chance against him. But again, his placement was spectacular, and I could I could never get a hit on them. 
Yeah, I mean, so, I mean that, that's. Yeah. I mean, he's got some real nice skinks, hasn't he? Some real nice. I tell you what, I like um, is is number two skink there, where he's he's got Dauntless, he's got Wrestle. You know, I'm not exactly too keen on the jump up, but I, I do like the Wrestle Dauntless. So you can basically go into a cage on a three plus, and a lot of oh, times yeah. he's going to get a one die block. I love that. I really do. I would, I, I would have so would have uh, changed jump up for tackle every day of the week, or st- maybe strip ball, but probably tackle maybe. because um, his mm-hmm. sole purpose is to get the ball loose. Jump up doesn't do that. He's already got plenty of um, scoring options, so it's not like he needed him. I I just think that's you know oh, it's a beautiful skink, but I I think it's missed a, a trick there. I think he should have gone tackle because then obviously only a push will right. you know only a push would really save your your opponent then. So I think um, you know that that's a bit of a mistake. That's just just the way I, I'd have built him. But obviously he's got some nice two agility four pieces. I mean that's just crazy. Uh, strength three piece shim. It got a, a minus one movement. Obviously he's minus one movement on his strength five piece as well. Um, I'd be looking at break tackle for that next. Um, I suppose the only the only thing is he's not got much mighty blow. And and the, the thing I don't know about I don't know if you agree with this, but the thing I uh, the other thing about um, the, the the lizards as well is. You, there's always that other one skill you need, you know. You never have enough skills, especially mm-hmm. with the Saurus. And yeah, you know, it's like if he runs into elves, what else, anything like that, he's in trouble. I mean, he's got one tackle piece, no diving oh, tackle, for sure. no diving tackle, or nothing. Um, exactly. So, yeah, it's it's very hard. It's very hard to level to level the Sauri up as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're getting a few, you're getting blocked with them all, but if you're not getting you know all three blocks every turn, it's going to be extremely difficult to level them up. And so you, your skinks are going to just suck up all of the SVP which they have on this team. Yeah. And again, like you said, like if he's to go against any kind of serious elf team with a lot of dodge, he would probably have a difficult time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just checking with the thingy. They're saying someone said it's it's um, echoing. Someone said it's very crackly. Um, I don't know, guys. Is that on? Is that on my mic? I don't know. I mean, can they can they decipher which one? They, I I was streaming earlier, and it, my my side was fan. They said the only time it went a bit bit weird was when I was shouting, <laughs> as I can do. Uh, <laughs> but I I mean the problem is I I stream in the living room, so I have got loads of bloody. Christmas ornaments all over the place. I've got lights on, everything. So unless it's that, because obviously, you know, I am wireless. Unless it's for me, maybe, but nobody complained. I hear it. There's a bit of a hum in the back, but I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, I can't hear nothing. I, I, I'm quite clear at my end. Um, that's why I was a bit surprised when they were saying. Right, so apparently echoes from me and crackly from you. So we work great as a team. So let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> so it's both our problems. Um, exactly. Yeah. Right, well, yeah. I'll, I'll 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 do the I'll do the ridiculous thing and pray it works. I'll just unclick my mic and put it back in. But that probably won't work. But I'm going to do it now. Well, here we go. Now that'll just crash the full thing. Let me know if that that helps. Um, otherwise, guys, all like all I can say from my end is I blame the Christmas tree. That, that's what in. that's my story. That's what I'm gonna go with. Um, I keep sticking to it. You can't yeah, get mad I, at him. It's holidays. I don't think I don't think the missus will be too chuffed if I uh, started there uh, slinging out the Christmas tree. Um, and because obviously you know you know you know what wives are like. They always like everything clean, everything cabled up, and everything like that. Where if this was a man's house or my house, I would just unplug the Christmas tree lights, and he'd probably be fine. But no, it all has to be oh, behind. All has to be behind the TV, and nothing can be shown. So they all have to, be, all these wires have to be hidden away. So obviously, I cannot touch it. So um, I've been married for a little over a month, and the wife already calls all my my wires an eyesore, yep. as she yep. says. Yep. 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 I get I I get in trouble for that. So um, we will just have to go on. Hopefully, you can still hear us both, though. I can't really think anything else it could possibly be, to be honest. Sounds better now. Oh well, there you I, go then. All I did I, I was, hear you fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all I did was uh, pull the mic and put it back in. But I think I think uh, my use my co-announcer um, Space Magic. He did that. It, it, people say, "Oh, you sound like Megatron." So he takes it out, puts it back in, um, and then that's it. Cheeking out, don't everyone starts thinking dirty thoughts. Um, so you know, and it usually works. So hopefully, we'll be okay. Um, back back to the the Elizabeth team. Back um, to Blood Bowl. Blood to Blood Bowl. Yeah, you people in that chat, bad people. <laughs> um, I I think. This is a good team. I think 
This team... It's a very, in... very well-rounded team. It's not spectacular in any one yeah. place. Uh, I yeah. do like the four agility on a couple of the skinks, like we oh, mentioned, yeah. but he, it's nothing... It's it's very well-rounded, nothing spectacular. Yeah. I, I think, basically, the, if you put this team in a, a new new coach or an average coach, this would be nowhere near top. Because although he's got the skinks what will do the stuff... I think if you if you get your positioning wrong with this team, you're in a lot with, of trouble. Exactly. But obviously, uh, like, I do. I really like the the the, yeah. the plus one movement on the on the crop. I mean, with the, with the prehensile mm. tail. Mm. I mean, that's excellent. Being and 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 the guard getting him up there. But uh, it, like you said, without the correct positioning, if you don't know what you're doing, you could easily be taken advantage of with the only one tackle, for example. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's. Um, I'm not a big. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of movement on Croxes, but I, I, I'm not really a big fan of movement at all. I'm probably the only coach who isn't who very rarely takes the movement up. I know a lot of people swear by it. I just think, unless it's late on, um, I ain't taking right. it. But um, I'm, that's just me. I'm personally a fan of it. If Nuffle blesses me with some yeah. kind of stat up, I, I, I take his blessing and say thank you. Yeah. That, that's basically what Sarah <laughs> suggests does. He, he always, every time he gets a stat up, even if it's on a zombie, he goes, I gotta take it because Nuffle's giving me it. But... Uh, Nuffle gave it to me. I gotta take it. Well, I no. That's probably why I get bad luck because I just like you know I had bloody I've been jilly on the blue zombie. Behave, man. I had to take that. So maybe maybe I just upset him. Then I don't know. But um, yeah, I mean this is good team. Uh, good team. Um, I think he'll have a major problem if he runs into a decent coach with elves of anything or anything leaping like Rambo's Kislev Circus, for instance. I think they could go in there, punch his little skink out, pinch the ball, and that's him gone. So. Um, oh, Oh, I hope. hang on a minute. Bear yeah. with me, guys. Uh, I, I am streaming live, Cody. I am streaming live. You know, this is my, you know, premium chat show. Uh, is that what you're after? Pass it to your mother. Is it code for the Wi-Fi? Yeah, that is code for the Wi-Fi. Like there you it. go. Gotta love live, live streaming, don't you? And the little eight-year-old's like, I need me internet put on, Dad. I can't live without it. It's like... Hey, I'm know, drinking what? a beer on a live stream. It's okay. You're drinking a beer. I wish I was drinking a beer. Uh, yeah, I hope... Yeah, it's only 1:06 p.m. here. I'm off on a Monday morning. It's great. oh man, that that is that is awesome, man. That is awesome. You know, it's it it's it's. Oh, I wish I wish only if I was that lucky. I work, I work odd hours, but anyway. Ah, right. Okay, okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. So <laughs> we've talked about watch the Redskins. We've talked about helping my son out. We've talked about the echoes. We've talked about the the crackling announcing. We've talked about the Christmas tree. We've, we've talked basically about, talked about. We've everything talked about why he's behind the TV, ball. and we are yet to really finish our first segment. Um, I I got a feeling five hours later we may finally get around to talking about blood ball. We are trying, guys. We are trying. Um. But yeah, I, I like this team. I think it still needs it still needs a lot more development. I think at least twenty games with this team. His he's Soros have got to get better. I'm sure he knows this. Uh, but anything coached by he's on, he's on his way. But, he's on, yeah, yeah, of course he is. I mean, but, it's, it's it, always a slow process with lizards, and that's why sometimes it's like you get them to a certain point, and then something will just break them, and then you've got to start all over again. So you get to the point really where you think, dare I keep playing them, or I'm happy where they are. I wouldn't be happy where they are at the moment. Um, he's got, he's only got one tackle, and some way, sometimes you can get away with that. Is if you have diving tackle on your skinks, and obviously he's got sidestep on a few already. So diving tackle is something I'd look at. But um, yeah, it's a good team. It's a good team, but uh, it obviously needs a lot more development. Like we could probably say that about almost every single team. You say um, that about every team, yeah, yeah. exactly. But and, and diving tackle and and sidestep work excellent. Oh, together, absolutely, the they are a pain in the backside. And um, obviously, uh, Armour 7 is always very good. Oh, he's on the PS4. He never seems to break. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that is one of the best skinks. Uh, look at that. Two agility fours and strength three. That's, that's fantastic. So, it's, yeah. It's, I, it's, I it's great. Well. Yeah. Right then. So, we've right got then. that out the way. So, you know, we, we get in there, aren't we? We get in there. Um, Onward. Onwards. Here we go. Right then. So, let's ask you a couple of few questions. Um, okay. what, when did you start playing Blood Bowl? You know, was it? Are you quite new uh, to it, or? I'm actually a late bloomer. Um, hmm. I didn't start playing Blood Bowl until 
Blood Bowl 2 came out for the Xbox One because all my I I played Warhammer 40,000 right. and I'd never owned you know Blood Bowl for you know, on on the board game. Yeah. And I found out about it with with you know through my friends at 40K and I saw it come out in the Xbox One and I got it and I, I fell in love with it instantly. You know, it's basically like battle chess. It makes me think of you know yeah. it, when you're watching Star Wars: A New Hope and, and Chewbacca's playing all right, the, yeah, little, yeah. The, the the little chess game. You know what I'm talking yep. about? Yeah, it's great. And so you know I got into it that way and that's it's got me to purchase a few, uh, I got the orc I purchased the, the the starter set with the new Blood Bowl uh, uh, tooth game uh, uh, you know on the the board yeah. and I'm very excited about that and and I've got every team now I'm all wow. in it I play in the CCL uh, number one dwarf team right now for everybody mm. who's out there check out the Manitoba Woo-hoo. Moose you know we're, we're fantastic just a little shout out for to myself but uh, if it wasn't for the Xbox game uh, I probably wouldn't have got so deep into this. So, you know, that's that's a plus. Some people don't, don't like it as much, but, you know, that's definitely brought me and a lot of people I know into the mm. into yeah. the fold, if you will. Yeah, I, I, I think, personally, um, my only issue when I used to play, I mean, obviously, I, I played this since I was around about 13, 14, somewhere around there. Um, that's and, awesome. You know, the, the, the issue you got as you got older was, Obviously, Games Workshop then gave up on the sort of game, so you didn't really play it in the shop, and then he was trying to find clubs or whatever, or you'd have to, like right. a few of the guys on the PS4, um, they, they had to travel like an hour or an hour and a half just to get to somewhere, just to play it. So then, you know, that was a problem where obviously... Oh, for sure. But if you got on the console, you just spin, don't you? I mean, that, that's a great thing about it. You yep. just click a button, spin, yep. and there's so many good private leagues on the Xbox. I think that's something they've got over the PS4. Um, because, you know, I mean... <laughs> PS4 have uh, their their best league is controlled by a guy who's just a control freak. Uh, it's a shame because because the MML is a really good um, good um, league. Um, and then you have got the Blunteers, who's right. probably the, what's the other solid um, one? What, what is run by uh, one of my my fellow admins? But on the Xbox, it seems like Fable or Fabal, how you know, pronounce it, all that. They they they've, they've got so much going. And um, I know, oh, Fable's got it going oh, on right now. They, they, For anybody they, out there listening who's not yeah. part of Fable, you should go on, go to Facebook right now, check out the Facebook Xbox One Blood Bowl League. Uh, there's it's excellent if you if you're looking for some 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 league matches. If you want to have some play, and you're a little too trepidatious to get into the CCL to start. It's a great place to learn. Even if you're not looking just to learn and you're going to have a good time, it's a good place to look at. Yeah, I mean it, it looks amazing. I mean I I I have not been invited to it yet. Believe it or not, nobody's invited me. Um, hey, well, I, I'm officially inviting you right now, Bernie. You need to come on to the Fable and join some Neo and get your butt in there. I've, I've seen, I've seen it about, because um, obviously, uh, obviously after Christmas, all that. Hopefully, I'm, I'm going to try and get into. I, I, I sort of like want to get into it because it seems a really good place, and everybody seems to be having a good fun about it. And I, I'm a big fan of the private leagues, and it's just something you know, you know, different to the grand of the the CCL, and you know, I, I've. Oh yeah. I've what, what we're the largest season? largest oh. private league on yeah. on Xbox. Oh, it's fun. It sounds yeah. fantastic. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry. No, no. I was just say. I mean, this is season eleven now. So if you can appreciate, I have played on the. I actually played the first ever game uh, playoff game on the PS4. Um, so I've qualified for ten seasons straight, and it takes some doing, as you can imagine. So I'm getting sure. to the point now for where sure. I'm running on empty now. You know, trying to grind all the time. And it's getting to the point now where, like this season, it's like, Meh, I don't, there's, there's just nothing what I really want to play. Um, and then, obviously, when I try and play like real nice teams, you run into the countless chaffs, killer chaos teams, and everything else. Um, and it's like, oh my god, you know, it, it's just a nightmare. I mean, I, I had, I had a guy on the uh, playing chaos dwarfs against. He's about five hundred TV higher than me, and he goes, yeah, but Ben, you play chaos. No, I'm playing chaos because I can't play anything else. Because if I play anything nice, they get smashed. Um, so it, it's a vicious cycle, and we'll talk about it later on because obviously, yeah, one, one of the Xbox admins, Ron Bino, wants us to talk about something, so we'll get to that. But um, yeah, the private league looks fantastic, and um, like I said, there's a, there's like an, I know there's a new um, one as well. They just had the cup competition on Saturday, so the, the, they've they've got every base cover ball except the Salt League and all that. So I think this is fantastic, and I think you know that is one thing Xbox do have over the PS4. I can't comment on the PC because I don't know if they have it or not. But um, I think that's something the uh, the Xbox community should be applauded for and obviously be proud of. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to uh, you know get on there sometime and uh, try and try and join in. So hey ho, so, we'd love it. We'd love it. Yeah, I'll I will do my best and uh, yeah try and get some streaming done on there as well. 
So, um, so obviously, so you're quite a, a late starter. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm sure we've played before. I'm sure I clashed with your elves one time. I'm sure it was your elves. You, you, you may have. Uh, I had the uh, the drunken Skeletors was my uh, was my last team last year. I made the playoffs with them mm. um, last season before the one that this one that just ended, and yep. uh, they were they were okay. My pro elves did all right with them, uh, yep. and then I had eleven elves, one ball. That's the team I think the, I clashed uh, with. I think that's the team I clashed they with. They made the playoffs the year before. Yeah. And uh, that was – did okay. I had a, I had a nice agility five uh, pa passer – or thrower, excuse me, which was fantastic. And uh, I, I could literally lob it like halfway down the field, which was wonderful. Uh, but, uh, again, with Pro Elves, and this was my first, you know, non-Bashy team because I'd started with – you know, I, I learned with Bash like a lot of other players that I, the armor seven was what killed me. Eventually, like, mm. I, I um, my defense wasn't good enough. My I guess I'm still learning, but my positioning wasn't good enough to where I'd still get some injuries uh, over time and, and mm. end up coming down to where I'd have five guys on the pitch and have to do crazy things just to try to keep to, yeah. to, 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 to seal a draw. So, uh, But it was fun. It, it started to teach me more about Blood Bowl other than, ooh, I, I have four guys. I smack you. You know, yeah. and it, it was, you know. Yeah. So I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think you'll find out with a lot of the good players, um, their main strength is positional. Their positioning. Um, you know, you, that's something you can only get by learning. So, um, you know, sorry, my missus just there asking if the dog's being fed. Uh, <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> this, is one of those this is what happens though, guy. I bl you know who I blame for this? I blame Little Yoshi for this. Little Yoshi's getting blamed for this. He keeps nagging me with getting blown in the box. It's all your fault, Little Yoshi. It's all your fault, Little Yoshi. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. I'm blaming little Yoshi. Don't you give me stuff. I'm a bedlam. Well, just... Hey, wait this. I'm getting it from both ends here. I'm, I'm, I'm having... Yeah, it's little Yoshi. Fault. I know. I mean, you know, I, you know what, guys? I, I, I didn't blame it. I blame little Yoshi. I'm still getting stick for it. Yoshi, it's your fault. It's all, all his fault. That's who's getting blamed for it. Yoshi, man. Yoshi. Yoshi, man. How could you, Yoshi? Get him in trouble, mate. I tell you. He was the only one in this show. <laughs> and this is the only time I could have done it today. So it's his fault. Uh, <laughs> you solid melon farmers. That is an awesome name. I might have to pinch that, Yoshi. Um, now, you know what's going to happen now is I can't remember what we've just been talking about now. So that that's bloody good. Um, oh, yeah. Positioning. Yeah. I think you'll find Positioning. out. Positioning. Yeah. We, we'll get there. We'll get back on track. Um, position, you'll find out. All top coaches have that. Um, the, on, the only one who doesn't need it is obviously SL Hunter because he gets all the roles, so he doesn't need position. He, he, he does get so many roles. Oh, he's all the way. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If, if, if me or you, I, I love if me you, or you got his okay. roles, right, Banana? If we, me or you got his roles, mate, we, we'd have won about five championships by now. It'd be cruise control. Cruise control. But obviously, I found out because I don't do stats on zombies. That's the reason why Nuffle won't let me win one. But yeah, that Hunter, all the roles. <laughs> all the roles. But tonight, we'll see if he's got all the roles. I hope you've got your team roster sorted, young man. Because you're taking on Space Magic, or I think might have gone into Harding, because I cannot get hold of Space Magic at all. I think he's Harding somewhere, unless he's in chat and he's just keeping uh -oh. quiet. So um, that, Magic, that's a... you better you better pop on out. Oh yeah, and the thing as well, guys, if you want to join your team, because obviously Team Hunter, Team uh, Magic, uh, just just tell you tell your boss. Then I don't think they're actually being very sociable. I don't think they've sent invites out or asked people to join them. So if you want in on this big massive punch up, what should be awesome. Then, you know, just say to Hunter, look, I know you get all the roles, mate. I want some of them roles, and I'm going to come and help you. Because what's going to happen is uh, Hunter will set up his own um, group, and you can all talk in there. And then, obviously, Magic will have his, his battle group, in they'll be talking in there. And then, obviously, I'll stream it. Now, what I'd like to do, um, it might be a bit tough, but I try, I'd want to try and get a, a Team Hunter uh, player and a Team Magic player and get them announcing the game with me. Uh, tonight, the that brawl would be awesome. to end them all. Yeah, that would be awesome. I think it's gonna be hilarious. I really think this is gonna be fun. I don't, I don't know if anyone else has done it, but obviously I've got um, cr um, characters created um, for both teams when I've seen their rosters. Um, it's, it's gonna be bedlam. It's gonna be really, really fun. So um, hopefully, you know, we'll get that done. Which we, we, we might have to send out a search party for Space Magic. I think you might be getting a bit scared of uh, all the roles, Hunter. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, so let's get on with it now. Um, let's get what, on with it. What is your favorite team? Which team do you love playing? And, oh gosh! Um, which which team can you not play? Which team you've tried and you are useless with? You cannot get it. So favorite team and um, the worst team. 
I have okay. I have so much fun playing the orcs and the skaven, and mm-hmm. those two I, they're a little different. But yeah. uh, um, the orcs I love because they're they're, they're, they're such high armor value. Uh, the blitzers are so versatile. I, you mm. can give them like you know mighty blow, and you can make a couple of them some serious killers, and then have two more be some great ball you know ball handlers. And then the skaven, my favorite thing is when you get those. Beautiful, beautiful rolls to get the plus one movement and get that awesome one turner, and everybody gets so mad because then you can just one turn every time, and I it hate makes them so mad. And I that's oh my, you, you hate them, but you love them when you have it. I mean, let's be honest, it's awesome when you have a one turner, and it's great, and it makes the other the other team so mad. It just puts them on tilt. They're on tilt for the entire game, and the whole thing time they try to just kill that one turner. So even if you have them on the field, if you have to put them on the field, they're just going to focus on him and then you can just score on the other side of uh, the team that's been the hardest for me so far to play as oh man uh every time every time i try to make a high elf or a a uh, dark elf on my wood elf teams they've always died the only <laughs> elf team i've ever had any any semi success with was the pro elf that i've barely squeaked into the playoffs the last two years with um other than that i've only made playoffs with non-elf teams yeah. uh and then they were it, it was it's it's been tough for me I I, I I i try my best to run away but i feel like my i, I always fail the dodges and everyone else who has elves against me makes the dodges and it yep. makes me want to throw my controller into the wall i'm sure we yep. all know know what i'm talking about but uh yeah so that's 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 basically me in a nutshell how about you um yeah i mean like i mean it, it's awkward isn't it because obviously two plus no problem but i always seem to roll a lot of ones when i when i do that i um i, I seem to roll a, sh- a lot of ones because obviously the game plan is to disengage you know two plus disengage and no problem and the amount of times you fail it i think when you've got like when when you've got dodge, so so basically double one what messes you up. Um, then it then they're a lot better. It's just getting them to that piece. Um, and again, positioning, engaging when you need to, disengaging when you need, and all that. I think you they are one of those things. But again, uh, the 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 um, agility teams are more successful than the bash teams. Um, but are. the thing is, they can break a lot quicker than a bash team. But then I would say, well, you know what, a wood elf war dancer, they can. Or a wood elf catcher or a high elf catcher, they can score really, really quick. Where um, a, a, oh, yeah. an eagle warrior or a lizard saurus lizard, they take ages. They take absolutely ages when you lose take one ages. of those. A, ha- so, a happy you know. medium I've found is mm. I, I found a nice happy medium with the undead recently. Then I've I've started playing them in the in the fable neo leagues. Neo for new entrants only. You create a new team, and uh, you try to take them as far as you can against all the best players on Facebook mm. uh, in the fable league. Anyway, so my my undead team they're you know fifteen five and eight. Uh, number three on the ladder behind Mr. Chelsea Zola. All uh, right. and he's the first two. But but anyway, uh, I, I just I found a nice little happy medium. You still got nice bash with the two mummies. Uh, yeah. You've got I play with three ghouls. Uh, mm. Some people like to play with four, but I feel like that's a lot of armor seven. Uh, you can still do a lot of things with three ghouls. Um, so I like to play with the three ghouls, which is a lot of movement. Get you can you can still score fast, and uh, you can still get, get some nice bash with those whites and the and the mummies. If I like to set my whites up with tackle mighty blow and pile on uh, for at least one of them and you can take a lot of uh, of the elves and lower level uh, you know lower armor uh, people off the pitch and then you could potentially even if you want to go crazy and play some air undead uh, give your other uh, white a strong arm and he can complete pa- um, almost all passes up to like a 67 percent anything over a uh, uh, up to a medium pass which is decent you know that's not bad then it drops to a 50 if you have decent re-rolls you're okay yeah no, I mean, it, it's um, undeads. Are st- uh, uh, I tried doing a few undead teams one season in the playoffs. I, I, I didn't like them, but I never got beat by that. I, I, I seemed to never lose playing undead. And it was really weird because I just didn't enjoy them, but I, my record with them was fantastic. Um Oh, I didn't enjoy them at the beginning either because they seem so bland. Yeah. But, the, but the more you play them, I've realized you could. there's a lot of different ways you can evolve them. Uh, well, I mean, that's true for a lot of teams. But uh, I feel like with Undead especially, there's a lot of different things you can do with them. Yeah, I, I just, I mean, Gimlick was in the chat. I mean, he, he's playing his uh, playoff game tonight and he's got a really good Undead team. But he did roll four, I think it was four strength ups. So obviously they look a lot better than they should be. Um, 
I, I don't oh, know. Yeah. I, I, so I prefer Necro. I'll be anything. honest. I prefer Necro to Undead. I think Necro, high level, is fantastic. You've got your two roadblocks and your golems. You've got two potential mighty blow killers um, in, your, in your wolves. You've got two ghouls. You've got two whites. Plenty of cheap zombies. I think I think Necro. I, I, to I like me, Necro better. too. Mm. I, I've never been a huge fan of. Uh, okay, the 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 big the big ghouls. Not, not excuse me, not the ghouls. The, the big uh, uh, flesh golem. Excuse yep. the golem. Excuse me. Uh, they're okay, but I don't like only having two strength four players instead of two strength five. Uh, even wh I feel like, in my opinion, one strength five player is better than two strength fours. And so, like that. Uh, I mean, it may make up for it with the werewolves, but I just don't like how they. I feel like it's a little. Not strong enough uh, with the uh, the flesh golems, in my opinion. I, th I think it's um, yeah. I, I I suppose they're just trying to balance out and make it a bit different. Out there, they're saying, look, if you want the extra strength, go undead. But if you want the speed and everything and the potential claw pom, you've got to go with necro. I just, I, I, you know, like I say, I think I think undead are a lot better lower TV where Necro come into their element at high TV. And the thing I like about Necro is they're one of those teams what can, you know, when a Chaos Dwarf team sees them or a Chaos team sees them, go, uh-oh, you know, it strikes fear into them because they because you could basically have two ninja assassins going around, smack them, dodge back out, and keep hitting them with Mighty Blow and Claw. Right. Um, and, you know, that's why I like it. With Undead, well, well, you're Mighty not going to get that. Is, is my, uh, the werewolves have to have a double for strength access, am I correct? They do, they do. But if you, that's what I say, so, if you get uh, them, though. Uh, if you, okay, okay, right, if you get them, though, yeah, yeah. yeah you if can, you do, I mean, you know, yeah. they're powerful, but you still have to get that double. Yeah, yeah. But again, for Mummy, you need a double for a block. Golems get block uh, normal. Uh, that's true. That's true. So, like I say, okay. it's, it's, okay, it's, another it's, it swings and roundabouts, isn't it? They've all got strengths and weaknesses. Um, like I said, I, I did well with Undead. I just, I just... I don't know. I, I think it's like you said, you have three ghouls. I think I would have to have the four ghouls, but then they just die pretty quickly. But then again, one skill gives them blotch, so they're, they're quite easy to level back up, aren't they? So it it, it, it swings them around about, isn't it? So yeah, there we yeah. go. So, But yeah, that's interesting that you like Orc and Skaven because obviously two completely different teams. You've got the Orc Bash against the Skaven and, like I say, one tennis. Believe it or not, I very rarely had a one turn. I think maybe we had... Since I've been playing on the um, the PS4, I've only ever had one genuine one turn. I think that's mainly because I've played them all the slower teams. Um, I guess I got extremely lucky because my very first two seasons that I played in the Neo, uh, yeah. I played with Escaven simply because I, I didn't really know the teams a lot. I liked yeah. work, and then I decided to try to play something different. And I got lucky. Both seasons I had a one-turner, and uh, it was awesome. And yeah, I, mean, I, I love the Rat Ogre if you level him up correctly and just yeah. push people out of the way and just... Boom, right up the pitch. It's great. Yeah, I'm um, seeing what's in chat. Um, not much more in chat at the moment. But yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, the, the Vault got the, the Vault got the strength of weaknesses. And like I say, uh, we've had an undead champion on, on, on the PS4. They are a good team. Um, and like I said, you know, uh, Gimli, uh, uh, Mystic Ted, who's our like, uh, guy who could see into the future, has predicted uh, the, the undead to win it this season as well. So uh, there's a lot of love for undead. I just... I, I like the mummies, and they, they all seem to break harm into the mummies for some bizarre reason. They've only got mighty blow, mummies. but they seem to always beat stuff up. So, you know, I've got I've got a, a lot of love for that. But again, we, we, when you cornerstones on two mummies and then you run into a, a claw pom team, oh, God, you're in trouble again, aren't you? And that, and that's oh, yeah. Um, I mean, that's what I think puts me off playing Kemri because of the decay. I would play a lot more Kemri if they didn't have decay. It's as simple as that. Um, I don't think they should have Well, that's that. the problem with, I think... Is per with perpetual leagues is, is claw palm. I feel like you know, uh, chaos wasn't really designed for perpetual leagues. I mean, if you mm. think about it, if if you go to play, you know, in tournaments, you're gonna have yeah. like what four or five skills to give out. I mean, if you have every player over you know a two or three years is finally leveling up and leveling up, and they're not dying and they're getting you know, the claw palm, they're just eventually just gonna tear you up. I mean, it's yeah. it's, it's I, I feel like chaos is a little broken at the at the, at the very high. Uh, uh, TV, but you know that's just my opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's fair, fair dues. I mean, like I said, I think you know they they, no. they really it's a, it's a shame they haven't nerfed Clopon because I've been running a few teams of Chaos without the, the piling on, and you can tell the difference, massive difference. And I've seen right. other teams oh, play sure. it. Oh man, you know where? Oh look, I've, I've I've knocked him down, but I didn't break armor, or mm -hmm. I've only got a stun. Here comes a piling on, injured, dead. You know it's. It it, it 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 can still be dangerous. You can still cause carnage. I mean, like I say, my my underworld team today, bless him. I have one claw, mighty blow piece. That's all he is. 
and I, um, I was like 480 TB down against the dwarf team. I got that um, claw star player, and between them, the the chop suey did a dwarf team. So you can still you can still break armor with with it without my, uh, without piling on. Oh um, yeah. So it, and it I mean, it I, I understand it's part of the game. Yeah. But it, but it gets to the point to me where people are now leveling some certain chaos players, and I'm not going to mention names, yep. uh, are, are just leveling their entire teams just to get that claw palm on every player. Just and it, and it just take. I mean, I understand it takes away from the flip. Where it's not just war. We're trying to score a goal. We're trying to score a point every yep. time. It's not just to literally kill every single player and piss off your opponent. I know that. I mean, I'm sure that's fun to some people and it makes them happy. But I mean, but that's not the object of the game. In my opinion, and I think that just takes a little bit away from it when that's all you're trying to do for your entire team is just that. Yeah. And I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you know, that's you know, that's the way you want to play. It's part of the game. You paid for the game too, but it it, it just it grinds my gears, so to speak. Yeah, I think I think that's it. I mean, you know, the thing is, with chaos can be a bit unbalanced. But the problem is, if and, and as, as Ka I'll say what Cass says. Cass says, if I bring my bucket sixes to the to the match, your team's gonna be destroyed, and that's the problem. You know, you build a team, or you got a, a guy who, who spent I don't know thirty games with his team, and he's having a lot of fun, runs into him like that, and then all of a sudden half his team's gone. That puts people off. Um, and then obviously, if it's like, oh, who am I gonna spin into? Case dwarf. Next game, case dwarf. Oh. No, it's not case dwarf. It's chaos. Oh, case dwarf again, and and that's that's the issue we've got on the PS4 at the moment. There's a major problem with case dwarfs. Major problem. I I I went case dwarfs uh, in the season we're in now in the playoffs, uh, just because I wanted to see what the big deal was. Um, and they're all right. I think obviously I haven't got all the claw. Maybe that's the reason why I don't like them as much. But uh, but I I've never known that like it. I think the, the on the PS4 they're more popular than chaos. By a mile, um, right. and like I said, the thing is as well is it's like oh yeah, but they only get claw and a double. But I tell you what, on the PS4 there's about four or five teams. They've all got about three claw pommers each, and they're all about fifteen hundred right, TV right. as well. They're not like two thousand where we chaos right. to get a, a complete claw pom usually, unless they're solely going for that. You're looking seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, fifteen, nineteen hundred. By then you've got some decent skills, but. Yeah, when they're at 1,500, sure. like, I, I mean, I, I walk up, I, I've got a, a, a Lisbon team three games in, running to three claw pommers. Oh, well, that's that, that team wrecked. What can you do? It's like, sorry, I have a phone odd inducement, but that's not, what's that going to get me? Not much. Um, so it is, it is a concern. And, you know, that's why, obviously, Dud and everyone else tried to bring in this new wildcard system. Um, well, basically, where each season they would pick the eight um, wildcard spots. So, so for two of the seasons, you'd only have one Chaos Dwarf spot, and then you'd only have a Chaos Warrior, you know, one Chaos spot. What I think was a, I think was a bad idea. But the, after this season, the way it's going, I can see why they're trying to do that now. Because I was under the impression, like, look, you can't force people to play other stuff, and it may lose, you know, it may lose coaches. But I'm now getting to the point what is. Is this mass? I mean, obviously on the Xbox, apparently it's all chaos. On on the um, on the PS4, it's chaos dwarfs. But this mass right. killing is this now going to drive coaches away from playing it? Because I'm at the point myself now where it's like I am forced to play kill because every time I try and play, something it, it else, is starting to drive coaches from playing it. Unless you are a diehard. Uh, yeah, blood buller who just wants to keep playing. The yeah. average Joe who's just coming and learning, who's just getting his entire team just just killed and is not enjoying himself, is going to stop. Yeah. And then eventually, what's going to happen is they're going to get rid of giving out five hundred euros to everyone. So y'all should pay attention to that too. Mm. By the way, when there's nobody else playing, uh, not not saying that that's you know the only reason everyone plays, but you know if you think that's a fun little bonus, if nobody plays anymore, they're not going to do that. So, um, but th th you're, you know you don't don't kill all the fish. Don't be you know the shark doesn't eat all the fish, and then you know what, if he, if he eats them all, he's going to die himself. Like if you kill if you get rid of the entire gaming base, you're going to have nobody to play with, and it's going to yeah. be over. Yeah, I, th I think I think for the console, we've got to be very careful when we go with a big decision like this. I mean, the PC, they they was going to go ahead with it, and the the amount of people what went bonkers and was like just kicking off big time, saying, "I can't believe we've done this without talking to the the community." You know, uh, we knew this was going to happen. We we knew it was going to happen, but you know, and they they were happy about it, and they, mm -hmm. they had to reverse it and go back to like the the consoles have. And I still think I still agree with that, but. After seeing so many Cursed Dwarf teams, you just feel like, yeah, I can see why 
they've, they've tried to do something different because it's just ridiculous. Um, oh, it is. Uh, I, I've, I've never known nothing like it, but, you know, what, what, what do you do? And like I said, I don't know what we'll do. Um, I, I, th I think if anywhere the wild cards were going to be changed, it would probably now be the Xbox. I think the Xbox probably would be more open to the change. I don't think the PS4 community would. They, they probably wouldn't like it. And obviously the PC have already said, no way, Jose. So you never know. The, the Xbox admins yeah. might decide to t get together and decide, you know what, we're going to give it a go and see how it goes. The only concern I have with that is obviously you've got to be careful because you've got a small community. And if that does a lot of damage, then that could cripple the tournament. But the way it is at the moment is, like you've said, a lot of them are not happy with the just the, the kill bash. Um, but um, uh, are people going to fight over halflings, two halfling spots? The, the struggle, the problem with Xbox is the struggle to f to fill a lot of the a lot of the um, races already. So having two of the same race doesn't really bode well. Um, that that would be that would be the That's problem true. to me. That's um, true. It, there, there are only a certain well. There, there's only a few races where people actually try to push for the, the number one team because once there's the number one team, and like you said, you're going for the wild card spots. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's oh, there's only a couple teams that could actually make that. Hmm. I mean, you know, what are you gonna you're gonna have one of the like a couple of the chaos kill teams. There's probably gonna be two or three chaos kill teams who make it who are gonna be the top three because yep. there's three of them generally who are in the top uh, 15, 16. And then you're gonna have a couple elf teams. And so that's basically what it's gonna be. And then you have to, you, it's either that or you have to be the number one of your race, like you said. And it's it's a little difficult, but uh, it is what it is at this point. If you wanna keep playing, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, like, but I mean, I'm, I'm looking now at the champion ladder. Uh, we've got chaos in fourth spot. Case in 13th spot and 10th spot. Um, so they've got three in there, then 15th. So there's four in the top 20. Uh, we got a lizard, yep, yeah, the lizardman number one. And then, yeah, Dark Elf's in uh, there, Elder Union's in there, Amazon's in there. So, you know, a... if, if I'm looking at this, if I'm looking at this as not being played on the Xbox, I would be saying to the community, what's your problem? You have a Lizardman coach top. You'll have a Dark Elf at three, LV Union at five, Amazon at six, Necro at seven, Undead at eight. None of them are classed really as absolute kill teams. So this, they're actually surviving through this. So, I, you know, I don't... I mean, I know there's a there's a coach who was causing carnage and has now this, deleted his team. It was a chaos team. This has, been cha this has been changed since... I mean, this was a little different the past couple of days. Uh, this has... Uh, been adjusted but yeah uh th yes there has been some teams who were who have been going in and just destroying and, and still even when you start there's the teams who come in and just destroy it uh, i guess this this season is a little it might be a slightly different but um in the past you know there's been it's been that way and there's mm. we've had some complaints about a lot of people i mean there's you should see the threads online are, are actually pretty humorous uh <laughs> you know about it but um check check out number 19 though on, on the on the list there what do you think about that guy Oh, never heard of him, mate. Never heard of him. Never heard of no, him. No, number 19. <laughs> oh, no big deal. Top 20. Top 20. Let, let's go, let's go and have a look at yours because obviously um, we, we'll go on to the piece, what we're talking about. And the piece we're going to be talking about uh, this week is, is Bernard Hannans has said, I want to talk about the Death Roller because, hey, you know, this, this yep, is love one of the things what, um, splits a lot of people. A lot of people do not take a Death Roller. Um, so that is what we'll go and have a look. So we we'll, might as well have a look at your team, obviously. Um, okay. So the Manitoba Moose. What does Manitoba mean? I, obviously, I'm English. Uh, so Manitoba is, a... is, a, is is somewhere in Canada. It's ah. uh, There's this hockey team that was uh, – well, it's, it's, I, I named them after a hockey team that's an AHL affiliate of uh, a, a couple teams I like. I just thought it was a funny, you know, you know a, a literal, you know, double M's, Manitoba Moose. It sounded cool. That's good enough for me. Oh, oh! Look at that! And the Jilly Three Troll Slayer. Bad job, man. What the I hell? I love is him. That? He's he's he. He's he already, well, he's already got dodge, so I figured now he's he's kind of like a sweeper. It doesn't matter if you come up near him; I can easily dodge away and come nail your butt. Just Fantastic. come, 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 hit you. I, I didn't, I didn't say, God. I didn't swear there. It's okay. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. Uh, right then, so let's have a look at the good old Death Roller. All right then. So you've just what have you got so far? Is he just got the he's got two levels up? Says it. Uh, two levels, two levels. I always start with uh, multiple block on my death rollers. Yep. Some people like to start with mighty or excuse me with guard, but I feel like you're gonna have guard on a lot of your other players anyway. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. With multiple block, you can literally hit 
basically any character in the game with a two dice. Uh, even if it's a strength five big guy, if I've just got one guy guard piece next to me, that's a two dice block, and you can hit him and one more. And the whole object when you have mighty blow is to get what as many mighty blow hits as possible. Correct. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that's the just get him right up in there and uh, just nail him. Just hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. And if you don't have the uh, uh, the bribe. Once it starts getting turn seven, turn eight, you start fouling with them every play, every play, and uh, just just kill, just kill people. That's the whole object of the death roller. I I, I like him a lot. Uh, he's huge on offense, uh, especially if you can get. Uh, if you don't have a bribe, if you have twelve or thirteen players on your team, you can keep him on the sideline until the drive that you need. Mm. And if you're a good enough player with uh, excellent positioning with dwarves and the right offense, you can still be okay without him. And then if you really need him and you can hold him till you want him throw him in there and he'll uh cause cause some ruckus it's awesome yeah i mean I, they're always one of those things where when i play dwarfs i don't have him i always have him as an inducement because i think if i get him as inducement that means i'm quite quite behind on tv but i, I mean obviously they're, they're fantastic um but again 160k for a one a potential guy what might not be on the pitch that often I've also, oh god, but I can get two really nice dwarfs for that, and I like my bench. I like to have like 13 players. I can't have 13 players if I've got a, a death roller. Um, but they are good. I mean, like I said, they've got all these really cool skills. They, they haven't got nothing ridiculous like stupid or anything like that, so it's just a learner. They've got juggernauts. Yeah, yeah, there's no. So. A lot of times you get three excellent. dice as well. I mean, it's a... Oh, you get oh yeah, for sure, because mm-hmm. of the strength seven, mm-hmm. it's it's awesome, and and oh yeah, it, it, having no negatrate other than you know the secret weapon is yeah. is crucial. I mean, have you know it's 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 crucial. There's so many different things you can do, and now that if you once you get into the second level and get guard on him, you could go and stick him up into a like right around two or three people and get a nice guard on every single player, and they can't they can't knock your death roller off. Yeah, I, I I like them. I mean, I mean, if you roll a double, it it's one of those things with a double. I always have a problem with because usually I would take block, but for death rollers, I always struggle because block is is good. But again, I've got juggernaut. I'm at a ten, so I'm usually pretty safe there. Um, of then there's dodge because dodge we break tackle, uh, strength seven. Hello, break, uh, k- uh, going to a cage. Oh Fantastic. my god, awesome. Um, but the other one, what I used to have a lot of success with was diving tackle. Because people would just think, oh, I'm just disengaging from this. I can't I can't get it. I'll just disengage. And, you know, the amount of turnovers I got. But the best thing I used to do with it is just crash the corner of a cage, park a stand firm, strength seven piece next to the ball carrier. So, yeah, that's to hand it off behind him. I have to try and dodge with the minus two. So that used to do I, I, really, I love really well. I love diving tackle. Mm. I, I, that's the number one. Uh, th- some people like to take a, a dodge with their uh, long beards if they get a double, so that way they're you know it's harder to knock them down. Every yeah. double with my long beards, I always take diving yeah. tackle. Diving tackle admit. works excellent with tackle. Excellent yeah. with tackle. Every single time I take diving tackle. Also, on my runners, uh, I have one runner who always has hail mary pass every yeah. time. Uh, if anything, if anyone gets deep down into my end, if you can just knock that ball away, something's bad. You're up one nothing. Chuck that shit all the way across the field, all yeah. the way back over. It's there. a great and defensive it least, tool. It really yeah, is. It I mean. can at least knock away. At worst come in the worst situation, it only knocks away what one or two more turns. But still, that can save you. That two turns as a dwarf team could be the two turns that could differentiate between a draw and a win, or a loss and a draw. Yeah, yeah, I must admit, I, I do. I mean, dive tackle. As long as I've got guards, um, or I've got a decent amount of guards. I will take diving tackle on double. I mean, I like dodge for the stamp firm, but I think diving tackle is great, especially when you're playing against a lot of elves. Base them. They're like, you know what? You can dodge if you want, but it's going to be 50 50 if you dodge or not. And I've got tackle, so, you know, you're going to have to burn a re roll if uh, you fail it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I don't I don't spam it, but two or three on, on, on diving tackle thing is 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 good thing to have, I think. I um, mean, obviously, guard's the main oh, thing for, sure. for uh, the dwarfs. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's good. I mean, it, the thing with the, the, um, the death rollers, though, I mean. <sighs> Not many people take them. I must admit, not many people take them. I think it's it must be the hundred sixty k and the sent off after one um, one drive. It, it pushes it, it. It drives some people away. But if you save your money up a little bit and wait, if you really want to wait for a death roller, get the level two stadium, get the bribe, and then get the death roller and go all in. Because then you can, if you every time you're at home, you can have the death roller for two separate drives. All you need is the bribe on a yeah. two plus. Yeah, I mean, I think that that would be the thing. Oh, yeah. What would definitely make me start taking would be the the Brav Stadium because, 
you know, that, that means two drafts. Two drafts on a death roll is just fantastic. Because they just, you know, that with loads of guard near it, that can just dominate the middle and just steamroll the way through. So, um, you know, it, it's 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 definitely something. And if you get a few nice rolls with it as well, then obviously we become a, a, a big piece. But I think if if you take the death roll, you've got to take the brab as, as a stadium upgrade, I think. I think oh, you have to at some point, for sure. Because yeah, if you take the death roll at that point, you've gone all in on it. You need to yeah. take the bribe at some point. That's your next save up for uh, and your next purchase, if you will. And, and in my opinion, I mean, I, I love it. Because especially when it's not only is it, you know, excellent on offense, but in a mental thing. If I'm going up against a dwarf team and I've got, you know, some regular team and I just see if I've got humans, for example, or, or elves and I see a bunch of tackle and a giant, giant death roller sitting there, that's, you know, it's mentally, that's not cool, man. I've got to no. go up against a death roller who's going to come tear me up. You know, that, that upsets me. So it, it puts me on tilt, if you will. So, you know. Yeah, they, it, it helps in multiple ways. Yeah, they're just scary. I mean, I don't know if anyone in chat is is a big fan of death rolls. Let me know if you are. Um, but yeah, I mean, the 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 good. I I mean, obviously the secret weapons they, they made negative on it, but it is what it is. Right then, let's go and have a quick look at the uh, the championship at the moment. The the playoffs are underway. Um, so the season ten. So I'm going to go to them. Where there we. Go. Go. So I'm going to go, I don't know if you can get to it, but the, the Champions Cup uh, Season 10 playoffs, a lot of the games have been played. I think we're waiting on two games to be played now in the uh, in the first round. Um, and I must admit, I, I had to uh, double check with a few people when I found out Warp, Fre uh, Warp Fiends, what, um, the Underworld team, knocked out Captain right. Gargo's Pro Elves, or Elven Union. I had Whoa, to double check. I, I was like, team. I was like, really? Have I read that right? And uh, yeah, he did. So that you know, it's like people was on about obviously the Kislev knocking out um, Space Magic's uh, Chaos, but I, I think that's a bit more bigger deal. Um, so yeah, the Warp Fiends are through and Unstoppable um, are out. Um, they're not Unstoppable anymore. Oh, man. Um, and obviously, uh, you know, uh, the, a hunter who gets all the rolls. Um, he's he's no speed. Um, Potential favourites, uh, Drick Skaven. And what, the playoffs are so hard because I, pe so people hard. were saying to me, oh, well, this will be the year that, or this will be the season that um, Space Magic wins it, or if he doesn't, then it's going to be the rats. No one can beat Drick's rats. And both of them are gone already. Right. And they did the other one with yeah, Captain Gaggle. Yeah, already. So the top three I, I, I really thought Drick's rats, I, I, I was part of that, uh, that group. We thought Drick's rats would have yeah. been... Uh, one of the teams to beat this year. And so, you know, you guys got me. If I was a betting man, I would have been wrong. Uh, I, I mean, I believe, um, man, I don't know. I don't even know who's going to get it this year now. I, I, my whole world's been completely flipped upside down with who's won. Yeah. So, I, I, uh, I've yeah, got a, I was wrong. I, I've got a sneaker suspicion this could be Cass's year. I mean, it's it, got could, me, it could be Cass's it's year. It's got me next, but that is a terrible matchup for me. Horrendous. Um, um, is 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 MUT is Mutt's team still in? It is. He's got the. Um, it is. He's he's one of my. He was one of my other favorites this year. I yep. don't know if because he's he's just another kind of another kill team, but um, you know it's his so. rats, isn't it? He's he's gone with his rats. They've oh, that got, was his rat team. Oh, he's, he's played. Me, he's got his rat, rat team. team. So he's got the second rat team, but they haven't played their first game yet. He's playing uh, against a Norse uh, coach who did who did all right. He, so uh, that should be an interesting game. Um, but that yeah, it's, be, it's, been, it's been he, busted he also, up. He also plays the, the Chaos team. That's why I was... He, yeah, that's the season. Yeah, it's he's been, got it, mutated, mutated Death. That's what he's got this season. Mutated, mutated Death, excuse me, yeah. yeah. But um, but it's been completely... Uh, yeah. It has. It's, it, like you say, it's been completely blown wide been. open. Um, I mean, you know... I, I, th I mean, Rambo's done... I mean, would it annoy you if you were Space Magic... Every season you finish top, and every season you've been knocked out first round. And the last two times has been knocked out by Rambo, like Rambo's got his number, <laughs> sort of thing. That would annoy me. Oh, that would annoy me. I mean, I've been knocked out first round every time I've been yeah. uh, as well. But, I mean, to dominate the league like he did, I mean, that Chaos team, I think it was about 40 games that before he lost the game. Out. 40 odd games before oh, losing man. a game, and then you turn up. That's like, crazy. And you get knocked out again. He knocked out first round again, and and same with Drix Rats just dominating it, and Unstoppable dominating it, and all three teams are gone. They're just gone. And I, I if someone turned around to me and said, "Oh, Drix's gonna be out, um, Space Magic's gonna be out," you know, and then Captain Gargo's gonna be out, 
I wouldn't believe them. Not all three oh, of them. Oh, man. No, no way. One of them, all. maybe. At a really long shot, two would be bad, but all three of them? I mean, I think that's... Oh, man. I just, I just For think sure. that's... Um, so that's blown wide open. I mean, I think, um, obviously, when you get all the rolls like um, SL Hunter does, he's going to go well. I think a team what... Uh, people need to take a look at his commander slacker's decimator. I've really pressed how this guy oh, plays. Oh yes, he's Mr. a very shrewd, Schlachter. very he's shrewd. A good friend uh, of mine. Good friend yeah. of mine. Uh, met him over in England. He's a great guy. Uh, his team is excellent. He's a great coach. I've played yeah. him uh, in playoffs in the Neo playoffs last year, and I barely beat him on uh, honestly and and some lucky dice is how yeah. I won. But it is what it is. He's a great guy. Uh, hopefully that team will go far. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling for him. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're against um, Rambo's Kislev next, so that should be a good game. Um, That'll be an intense match. But And then on the on the second half, I think... Well, I I mean, Kalsim Kass uh, did it the hard way against the Necro, and he did really well. And they're the sort of results what can be, make him become a champion. He, he, got, he got through it. Um, and obviously he plays me now, so my case to offs against his Chaos Bees... It's going to be crazy. Um, I think he'll be confident whoever he plays. I think this side of the draw is not as well. I would have said this side's not as strong as the other side, but the other side's lost a lot of their key players. So I think this is going to be a very open this one. Very and um, looking at who he if he beat me, who he'd have to play after me, I think he would be, oh man, he would be loving this. I think the two teams he'd be worried about would be Inarian Swedes and Wood Elves because they could do some crazy stuff. And Glasshammer's a class act of a coach. And Val oh, Pounders Glass have put an excellent coach. Oh yeah, and Val and Pounder have put. Um, oh, that that team has been whooping everyone's butt, and that team schooled um, Cass's team through brute strength with guard and everything. But um, you know, it's it, it's it's an open it's an open uh, thing this season. And the good thing is, is anyone can win it. It doesn't matter how good you are, how great you've done in the league. Playoffs are cruel. You could get a dice in, or you get the one. The playoffs mistake, are very or... cruel. N Nuffle, Nuffle is a cruel mistress. Very so, very so. So it should be good. And uh, yeah, and obviously the admin there, handsome dames, uh, the guy who did the draw, he ended up drawing halflings. Hmm, something dodgy going on there. Mm. I think. I think. I think that. Uh, I think. I think uh, he should be banned and let me take his place. Oh, smells I should like be fish. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? It does. Yes, absolutely. Let me throw one of my teams in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. give me a buy. <laughs> give me a buy. That sounds good. That sounds good. But yeah, uh, yeah it should be good. And uh, round. I mean, round two should be uh, amazing. I mean, everyone apart from myself seems happy. Cass v Bernie again. That always seems to be the case between me and him. Um, one of these days, I would like to play him where actually I've got the better team. I always seem to have the worst matchup out of us two. So maybe I'll have to go Elves next season just to upset him. Um, but pff, it's going to be great. And like I said, this is this is what we do the six oh, yeah. weeks ground for, for these playoffs. And like I said, the, the thing what the Xbox have been doing really well compared to the PS4 is that there's quite a few streamers. Um, on the PS4, I stream my own game, my round two game again. Um, and it's quite hard. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if anyone else who streams has done it when, when you're in the, in the playoffs and you get a really good coach and then you've got to talk and stream. It, it's not easy. Um, and uh, luckily for the Xbox, it seems like it's growing um, on the announcing side. And that is really important because the more games you stream, the more it gets an audience and people might be just switching through and go, oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, this sounds a fun game. I'll go and get it from the Xbox and, and stuff like that. So it's really important that we keep streaming these games because these are the pinnacle. Growing the game is always better for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. And th th there's nothing bigger than the Champions Cup. And, um, y you know, the more we can stream, the better it is. And uh, that's something the Xbox uh, community have done really well. So well done to them for all the streamers who do the other hard work of getting that done. So, um, so yeah, so that that obviously, um, I don't know when actually these guys have got to get it done. I think uh, the high elf game is tomorrow, and that means we're just waiting on Mutt. Bloody Mutt is too busy on the PS4. Get him on the bloody Xbox and get him bloody playing his game. So we'll go and tell him off. Um, so yeah, that's that's the playoffs done. So let's see what we have. We've got a few things to talk about. Um, we've got a few Ask Bernie questions as well. So it's classed as Ask Bernie, but we obviously ask you as well. So I'm just going to get okay. them up now and see what we have. Do, do, do. Oh, it is a nice, easy one for you to start off with from little Yoshi. He says, if we have a look at the season 11, if we go to where uh, the top page of the leaderboard, so that's 1 to 13, 
Okay. If you had to punch one of those coaches, which one would it be and why? So that's a nice easy one for you. Ooh, <laughs> oh, do you want to upset? Which those would it be and why? Let me double check here the leaderboard here. Oh, man, I don't even have the leaderboard in front of me now. Oh, geez, probably uh, um, of the CCL leaderboard? Yep. Oh, man. Oh, man, of the new season, it would definitely have to be M-U-T-T, -T, Mutt. And why? <laughs> uh, because we've played, we've played video games together for a long time, and uh, he always beats me. And the, the, he's the one guy I've wanted to beat for a long time. And I, don't, I think maybe I've beat him in Blood Bowl once or twice. He just seems to happen to always have my number. Hmm. Fair news, fair news. Okay, it's easy for me. I'm going to go very diplomatic and get myself out of jail here. I'm going to go for number 13, um, team name SFDP, coach name Dyson the Slicer, because apparently he's been playing so many different, allegedly, shall we say, been playing so many other um, gamer tags, so I'd punch him to slap it the silliness out of him. So that's about as good as I can get. Because <laughs> um, I like all the other coaches on there, so, you know, hey. I don't know that guy, so I feel, I feel a lot better hitting him than all the rest of them. But uh, there you go, Mr. Yoshi. Um, what else have we got here? Right, okay, being diced, is, is, is that reality, or is it just a bad coach's excuse? So do you think it's, it's, it, you can get diced, or is it just something people use so they don't have to blame their game player? What do you think? Oh, man. Uh, Jesus. I think it's it's it can be a little bit of both. I mm. mean, there are times when you get some bad dice, but most of the time, as we all know, if you're getting a lot of bad dice, you're probably rolling too much dice. Mm. Uh, so it can be. I, I, I think it, it can be a little. I'm going to say it's a bad coach thing. Uh, we should all not roll as much dice if we're getting bad. If we're getting diced. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. it's it is really really awkward because like I've. Both times I played Necro in the playoffs, I have had the horrendous dicing on on this planet. It, it's so bad that I don't play Necro anymore because I just can't take another dicing with them. You know, you, you go through the rounds, you're looking confident, you're beating all the great teams, and then you rock up and then boom. And then you, like, a bit like Space has done before, bucket of ones and all that and... You know, but if you're, uh, what I would say is if you're blaming the dice every game just about, then obviously you're either one of the most unluckiest people in the game or there's an issue somewhere. And like you've already put right. out, a lot of the times it's because you're rolling too many dice. You know, if you keep rolling, you know, if you need a two plus and you keep rolling more and more dice, eventually you'll roll a one. And that's the same in Blood Bowl. The amount of one dice blocks I see thrown when they don't need to. You know, and oh, look at that, I got a skull. Yeah, but did you really have to roll that dice? Could you have got two dice instead of the one dice? You know, you don't have to always roll dice. And, and that's what I see a lot of the mistakes come from. Um, wizards. Oh, man. You know, we, we watched the game between um, Cass and, and um, Aruma Tank. And like, everyone's saying, oh, well, if, you, if, you, if you use your wizard now, you'll win the game. And he didn't. And I, I didn't have too much of a problem with that. But the next turn... When there was no way he should use his wizard, he wizarded and they couldn't get the ball. And it's like, it's things like that where he'll say, Oh, yeah, I was really unlucky. No, you weren't unlucky, you just made the wrong choice. And that's what people have got to think. You've got to look at, look, is is it dice or is it, you know, is it bad play? I mean, we all moan. I, I moan, uh, I, I'll get salty, I, I'll blame everything. But at the end of the day, you after your game, you've got to look, look, right, what could I have done? Is there anything I could do differently? Why did this happen? Why did that happen? And you, you've just got to be honest with yourself, aren't you? That that that's the end of the day. If, if if you have these blinking vision on and you think, oh man, I'm just the best player ever, and the only way I get beat is by dice, then you're gonna struggle. You're not gonna learn anything. The way I look at it is, if you if you lose, that is when you become a better coach because you're like, oh, hang on a minute, why did I lose? What did I do wrong? I have learned more. I have learned more from losing than I have from winning. The times when I'm losing bad and I'm annoyed and I can't quit because I'm in my league yep. and you have to sit there for another six or seven turns and you're pissed because it sucks and you're getting just beat down. It's annoying. And you're like, how did this happen? What did I do? What was the wrong thing? And you yep. remember it and it sticks in your mind. And yep. that's how that's how I learned how to play a lot better because that really annoyed me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, that's it. You, you never really, you know... It's like in many sports, if you win, you can pay pro for the cracks, even, you know, because you've won, so who cares? Right. You've won, that's all what matters. But then when you lose, 
then that's when the knives come out. You know, wh- why did the lose? Or it's his fault, that fault, or whatever. And that's that's when you you learn where your deficiencies are, what could you improve on, and stuff like that. Unfortunately, you are gonna get Dyson's. It's just the way it is, and it, it it's terrible when it happens in the playoffs. It really is because you know you think, oh god, I've I've done this six week round, my team's kicking ass, and then that happens. You know, and it, it's cruel. It's cruel, but you know you've just got to get on with it, and that's blood ball. And you know it happens to us all. Apart from obviously SL Hunter because he gets all the roles, but for the rest of us, you know, it, it does <laughs> yes, obviously he does. happen too. So, uh, so that that so yeah, it's a bit of both. But um, if you keep complaining to dice all the time, then I'd be game to be honest. Oh, here's a good one. Agreed. Um, calcium as finals announcer, would it be a genius move or never to be repeated? So basically, great idea or bad idea? I will come to you first. Would you like to see Calcium announce this season's final? Ooh, Calcium Kaz. I think I think it would be a great idea simply because it would be a terrible idea if that makes any sense. <laughs> like it would be making It would make everybody so mad and piss so many people off that I think it would be just the perfect troll, like just the perfect funny idea. Um mm. I I'd, I'd go for it. I'd I would probably go for it one time. Yep. Yeah, it, 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 uh, I mean, I've, yeah. I've co-announced with Callison Cass 40, 50 times, maybe. So I, I actually co-announced with him quite a lot. Um, I mean, the thing is, love him or hate him, he is a big deal. Um, a lot of people watch his stream. He streamed the game between um, um, Hunter and Drick, and the amount of people came onto his oh. thing. Because yeah, he hadn't streamed for a long time, and people were like, oh my God, he's back. Oh God, great, you're back, fantastic. So for advertising the final, that would be great. You know, he, he's good. Um, you know, and he is a knowledgeable person. He knows his stuff as much as, you know, because what you got to remember is a lot of this heel stuff he, he, he puts on. Um, the problem I have with him is obviously when he, he's, a, he's a bad loser. And he'll say, well, everyone's a bad loser. But, you know, some of us are worse losers than others. And sometimes he does overstep the mark with his, you know, his, his swearing or, you know, he's like the way he is. Um, and sometimes right, you've just right. got to, you just, if you beat him, you've just got to leave him. You've got to leave him. I mean, when I beat him with my Bretonians, and when he had that really good Dark Elf team, I, I didn't say nothing to him because I knew he'd hurt. But obviously, because of the character he is, everybody was just winding him up, absolutely winding him up. And I was just like, you oh, know what? of course. I mean, I would wind him up too. Yeah. I mean, it's got to the point where if I played him and I was beating him, I, I, I if he started cussing at me, I would just give it right back to him. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't I even think, care. I think but that's, calcium, calcium yeah. you want to give it? I'll take it, buddy. Let's play some Blood Bowl. I, I think now he's starting to understand that. Now I think he, he's, he's starting to embrace that. You know what? Don't take it as an insult. Take it as as like a badge of honor because obviously you're playing the heel so well that people are gonna give you smack. You can't give smack and say yeah. you're great and then not get it back. Um, you know, and, and I, 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 and I, as when when I did the interview with him and all that, you know, he will he will play this persona because he knows he gets people going. And, and the way he looks is that if I'm this like box office bad guy, it's helping getting bums on seats and. You know, he wants Blood Bowl to be big. He loves the consoles. He can play on the PC, but he loves the community on the consoles. You know, he, he loves them. But, you know, he loves being the bad guy, and he does it so well. Um, and like I said, you know, I don't know any I'll, other coach. I'll give you that he does. I don't know any other coach where we will all go and watch, wanting to see him beat. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of good coaches, but we don't wish them, oh, I hope they die or whatever. You know, all their team gets that killed and stuff like that. Where with him, we all rally around. Whoever's playing him, we're all like, oh, go on, you know, beat him and all that sort of stuff. So he does the job right. Would it be a good finals announcer? Well, he's, he's, he's stream. He's, he's got a very popular stream. He's, you know, he has a lot of followers. He's very knowledgeable of the game. Um, and obviously, when I, when I stream with him, it's pretty cool because I, I'm not the bad guy anymore because he, he takes that role. So anything when I say, oh, that's a bad move or something, that's like, uh, you know, that that's nothing compared to what he can do. Um, I, I I would I, I don't think it'd be a bad decision. Um, I, I would like him to... I, I would quite happily, if I if if I got knocked out, I would quite happily co-announce with, with uh, Cass if he didn't make it. And I think it'd be pretty awesome. But then again, I tell you what would be even more cool. funnier: um, Space Magic W and Carlton Cass in the same same booth. Now that could that would be ah, fireworks. That'd be wonderful. That, 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 be wonderful. that would be that fireworks. Would be that would be gold. Uh, that would be would radio be, yeah. gold. Yeah, that would be good. But yeah, I, I, I you'd be surprised. He's he's, <laughs> he's, he, he's a good he's a he's, he's a good uh, streamer. Um, so uh, yeah, I I think I, I would rather 
I would say yes because he's good and he's passionate. He's very, very passionate good. about Blood Bowl. So, um, I yeah, I, I I would give him a shot. The, you know, he, he he'll definitely get it done. And uh, he, like I say, he's, he's very knowledgeable. So yes, I will say yes. Um, I'm just pray he doesn't upset too many people. But um, you know, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Um, it is what, what it is, Burn. It is. Anything else? Oh, how do the community think wild cards should be handled? We've sort of gone over this already because he says that the um, Ron Bino is saying at the moment the current format is encouraging too much bash kill. Would you like to see um, what the the PC lot wanted to do, where you know every season they have eight wild cards for certain slots? And then the next season, it's a different eight. And then the following season, it's a different eight. Or, or, or would you like it just as it is now? Where, you know, it's, it's the I'm best okay. eight. I'm okay with it as, as it is now. Uh, you know, it's just the very the, the best eight after, you know, the, yep. the number one of each race. I mean, it, you know, it's kind of like divisions. You know, you got to win your division or your race. Uh, yep. You know, if you don't like it, pick a race and win. Um, that's you know the only thing I could say about it. Uh, it's, yeah. in my opinion, it, yeah. it, it works fine now. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm a fan. Yeah, I must admit, I am. I've yeah. always been a, I've always been a strong believer in this. I must admit, I, I've sort of understood more uh, this season because of all the chuffs I've run into and uh, all of them was in uh, on the PS4. So I sort of understand what they're trying to do now. Um, but again, I just think. If if you're trying to if you're trying to like go on, if you're gonna to have to lizards and lizards aren't got the wild card spot, people are gonna say, oh look, there's Bashy and Flashy. I want to play lizards. Oh no, I'm not playing lizards. I'll wait till next season. I ain't gonna bother because he's already he's already too far ahead. But if there's a wild card spot there, then you know you've got a chance. And that's why I think the wild cards should stay the same. But I now understand why they've tried it because it's not fun going against Case Wolves all the time or Chaos all the time. So you know, I I get it. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I, I, I'd like, in an ideal world, I would just like to say, right, this season, no Chaos Dwarfs, no Chaos apart from the one spot, and then like, leave the rest of the wildcard spaces open. If, the, if it was just my sole um, decision on the PS4, that's what I would do. I would honestly, I'd be like, right, only one Chaos Dwarf, one Chaos Team, that's it, I don't care. There's plenty of other options you can do, do it. And I, I probably would get away with it with our PSL community. I don't think I'd get away <laughs> with it maybe with Nethios <laughs> and Cyanad, but, um, you know, I, I think we'd be all right. We'd have about, you know, 20 people who'd be like, oh, no, but you know what happened. They'll all go Nagel. Um, so, where, you know, where, where do you stop? You know, what are we going to do? You know, and this, is the, this is the issue. Um, I, I'd keep it as it is. Um, if I wanted to change it, I would probably ban a second Chaos team or a second Chorf team. But again, it's it's a case of you don't want to alienate you, these these players because they paid the money to play the way they want to play. Why should I tell them how yep. to play? Because what? Because I don't like yeah, it's, it. It's 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 not fair. It's it's a it's a it's a catch twenty two. It's it's yeah. It's it's very hard to decipher how to how to do it. But uh, I don't know. We need to find some kind of middle ground here. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, my advice has always been, and I've said this to the PC, and this is where they had the issue. When I, when I, when we do stuff like when we did when we went to the two minute turns and everything on the PS4, we actually talked to the community. It was like, right, these are the ideas we've got, guys. We want your opinion. Do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing? And this is how we do it. I mean, like, I, I'm an admin, and we have our own official admin forums, but I say to people, look, just don't go there. Come to me. Just bombard me with stuff. Because I tell you what, the, you more likely you'll get a quicker answer from me. And, like, we're all here doing the same thing, trying to promote it. And, you know, I talk to people, oh, well, what do you think of this? And people like the wildcard thing, please don't go don't go there. I, I, I just can't play if you go there. And, you know, we, we, we was like... From an early stage, after speech talk, community was like, "No way, we're going to do this wildcard thing." We didn't like it, but when we when the community was like, "No, we don't want it," then that was it. You know, if we didn't like it, and the community was like, "Oh yeah, we want it. This is awesome," and the majority of the community wanted it, we'd have given it a try because at the end of the day, as admins, right. we're here it's to try and please you guys. You know, we love Blood Bowl, but we want to make it better for you guys at the end of the day. And if if changing the wildcard structure was what the our community wanted, we'd have done it. But they didn't. So, and I think that's the thing. When you've got things like this, like you said, you've got to be careful. But I always think if you ask the community, get a, you know, especially a lot of the veterans, you know, ask them, see what they think, and and sort of like decide with them. You're never going to please everybody. It's impossible. You're still going to get people grumpy. 
whichever way you go. But I would think you go with the majority, and especially a lot of the more hardcore coaches. You know, the ones who played it for many seasons. They have to be brilliant coaches, but you know the you know the passion about it and stuff like that. And I think that's what the Xbox are going to have to do. I know the Xbox admins are probably looking at this and thinking, look, how can we change it? And that is a road you go down. All I would say is I would definitely um, check with a lot of the uh, the community because at the end of the day. It's a community. It's a community. What will decide if it's a success or not, and if it isn't, then you're in a major problem. And unfortunately, the consoles do not have the the coaches like the PC to handle something bad like this. So exactly, um, that that's basically the way I look at it. One thing I will ask you. Um, obviously, we've gone to two minute turns, and we went for this big thing, didn't you, about the two minute turns? How are you how are you how are you found of this? Do you prefer the two minute turns? Do you prefer um, the three minutes? I'm liking them. I I like the two minute turns. Uh, I can now get a game done in you know about an hour. Yeah. Maybe a little longer. It helps. I work. You know, I I can't just sit around and play Blood Bowl all day as much as I would you know friggin' yep. love to. Um, so, uh, with my job and everything, the two minute terms really helps me get, a, a, you know, a couple good Blood Bowl games in every day. Yeah. I, mean, uh, we, I love it. We, love we've, it. we've always been a big fan of this, but people who like the three minute turns or people like the admin, I think one of Bino was throwing stats about, yeah, but there's only so many, you know, between the difference between the two, you know, the two minutes, three minutes, it's only about five minutes difference, but it's like, well, it, what surprises me, yes. but it's like, but two minutes always seems to be quicker and you know and i think the thing is is if you've got i don't know an hour an hour or an hour and 10 minutes you know the chance that you'll get a game in but on three minute turns you know you've got to have a, a bigger uh, sort of time haven't you to to have because yep. you know and i think that's that's the key psychologically you know if it's two minutes there's a very good chance this game could be done quickly and uh, not uh, there's a lot of quick coaches out there as well so you know you could get this done yep. game done and like i say sometimes we've had people where they say you know what i try and squeeze two games in over three minutes, no way. But over two minutes, I can get two games in, and obviously more games are played, and it just feels a bit more, um, a bit more quicker and a bit more streamlined. And you, you know, when you're over three minutes, you get people just, just you know, they, they, they don't Plus, need the three minutes. Plus, there's those, those jerks who decide just to sit there, you know. Yeah. And you, don't, you really don't need those extra time. And, you and know, three and minutes. Is a lot of times, I get, I can get my turn done in thirty second, thirty to forty five seconds. If you yeah. know what you want to do, and if you planned your stuff out, you can get your turn done very soon and yeah. you don't need the three or four minutes and like some of the people like three minutes separate defense from kickoff three minutes um yeah it's way too much time it, it's it's crazy you, well, you should never have three minutes because basically if you've been playing the same bloody team for 20 30 games you should have a bloody decent setup already in your head idea right you know right. And it, but they, they right. take I, the I three minutes because hey we can take the three minutes then you have people who will take three minutes just to wind through the opponent you know, we've known we've known people before. Before we were two minutes, who would deliberately take the three minutes. We had people, we had coaches who would have three, four players on the pitch, and they would still take the three minutes, even just to set up. Mm -hmm. You know, even though you know where they're going to go because they just want to annoy people. So at least with two minutes, it, it's it's a lot quicker. And obviously, if you're having a bad game, you're more than likely to hang in there because only two minutes to the three minutes. So exactly. you know, it's it's oh, it's it's an absolute. Nightmare. I think it's a win-win all around. Yeah, I think so. And, you know, I, I just, you know, I know a lot of the admins on the Xbox prefer the three minutes, but, you know, like like I said to you earlier, you know, look what the community wants. What can we do? So they've sacrificed their, like, their three-minute turns, what they're like to see if they can improve the community by going to the two minutes. And it seems the majority of them love it. Um, I don't know what the official numbers are at the moment, but apparently it, they're up. Um, it's been more popular. And if this brings more popular, more games, and people are enjoying it, then to me it's it, it's 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 a fantastic win. I mean, I think no the brainer. biggest thing right. I, I I always use um, is Mutt because Mutt has been a massive Xbox player. He came onto the PS4 mm -hmm. and he was like, "Wow, I love it. I just love the two minutes. It's so much cleaner, so much faster. PS4 is better, you know." And this is an Xbox vet going onto the PS4. All of a sudden, it's like, "Oh, mm -hmm. I get more games. I get to play more. I get all these, you know." And it, it's such quick. I get more games to play. And now I think now now the admins have done this fantastic thing of going to minutes to give the community a chance to decide themselves that they're getting more games in, you know. And it's maybe statistically it's only five minutes, but I tell you what, psychologically, you know, if I've got an hour and 10, 15 minutes and I'm playing three minute turns, there's no way I'm spinning, no way I'm spinning. But two minutes, absolutely, absolutely will spin because I don't yeah, get the game in, for sure. and that's what it's all about. Like you said, people work, people don't have hours and hours and hours to try and get a game in. Because obviously, what you got to remember as well is a lot of time you're spinning for five, ten minutes anyway. So, you know, you've got to put that into mm -hmm. uh, consideration and uh, everything else. 
So, um, yeah, I, I like two minutes. I'm, I'm glad you like two minutes. I mean, people in chat might say otherwise, but uh, I think the majority of people I've spoke to love it, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, it'll, it'll go well. And Game Lake, oh, you, typical you, typical you, cause, causing trouble in chat is. Typically, these PS4 admins, I tell you, <laughs> don't know who they think they are, them lot. Um, so, anyway, you should be getting ready for your game, Game Lake. Right, is there any more? Because I'll get in trouble if I forget some, some more. Uh, should we organise an anger management class for all those lost souls playing chaos teams? Apparently, there were a lot of absent fathers not telling their children that they love them. Should we have an anger management yes. class? Let's yes. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I play chaos, but my, my, my chaos teams aren't as bad as uh, certain Cass's teams. Um, I, I don't know. I, 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 I must admit, I, I chuckled when I, when I read it. I thought it was, it was brilliant. Um, yeah, it would be fun. I would love it. It reminds me of that, um, oh, what game, what is Wreck-It Ralph, where all the villains go into, into that room and they all have a, a meeting <laughs> about evil. I mean, I would love that, an anger management thing. Maybe, maybe we should try and get all, I, I should try and get all six, eight, um, players, get them all in my, um, my, my stream, and we'll have a, we'll broadcast live an anger management session of, of Chaos Salty players. Or even just salty players, and we'll just we'll we'll, we'll run it as like a like um, you know one of these anonymous things, and uh, I think it'd be quite funny, and we'll we'll go around with everyone and say, oh, oh, yeah. Nick, why do you want to kill people? And I think it'd be fantastic. So you never know. We'll so try. Hilarious. If we get the people to do it, we'll we'll do something crazy like that. That should be quite fun. Um, what are the odds on cast winning money this season? Says uh, Mr. Rambo. Ooh. So you'd have to go through me and. Another one, I would should, think. Should we set up, like, our own little Vegas, you know, like, uh, bets on the side? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I've said I think he'll do well. I think it may be third time lucky to get past me. Um, if, I, if, if I can pinch Hunter's rolls, then I'll win. If not, I'm doomed. Um, I, I think he could go well. I think he may struggle against Glasshammer's Wood Elves if they get through, because Glasshammer's a class act, especially with Elves. In, and um, Glasshammer's very good. Oh, yeah. He, he's the real deal. Um, I, I think he's got a good chance. I really do think he's got a good chance. He really... I, I know I said this last twice he's played me, because he should have beaten me. He should have beaten me. You know, his team was far superior, and again, his team's far superior to mine, so again, he should beat me. Third time lucky, who knows? Um, I don't know. I... I if it was me, I would say yes, he will make it. I don't know if he'll get to the final, but I can see him making the semi-final before Glass. Ha yeah, I'll say he'll make the semi-final. So yes, he will make the money. Do you think he'll make the money? Oh man, I think he he's got a very good chance of it. Yeah, he's got a very good chance. I I I'm no you know I don't want to say yes or no because this is Blood Bowl. Anything can happen. Yeah, he could just get one bad dice game. But he let's. I would say he has a better chance than he doesn't. Well, I'll yep. say that. Fair enough. Right, and the last question before we get onto the quiz. Oh, you'll love the quiz because uh, that's back this week. Um, multiple accounts. Um, he's asking, can we admin? Can the admin? Can we admin it by IP addresses? I have no idea. You're asking the wrong person there. Um, I'm not very technical. But, I mean, what, what, what's your thing on these multiple accounts? Because, obviously, this is Radius Ugly Head on the um, on the Xbox. And, obviously, there's a guy apparently going around at the moment creating chaos kill teams. And then when he gets to six concedes, he then restarts again. Um, it's a major problem. I mean, what, what what's your thinking on it? Um, I, I would be I would be very happy with trying to figure out a way to to stop multiple accounts. I don't know how they do it. Um, I mean, unless you keep creating brand new Xbox Live accounts, but um, I, I don't like that. I agree with you. I'm not a fan of it. But there's not much you know we can do at the moment. I guess uh, if if they can figure out a way to successfully do it, I'm all in for it. Yeah. But uh, how they would do that, I'm not sure. Mm, yeah, I, th I think that that's that's the problem, isn't it? I mean, it's. It, it, it is an awkward one. I mean, we, we had a guy on the uh, the PS4, and to be fair to him, he said, look, a bit, I, I didn't know about the concede limit, or, you know, six on. He thought he was six concedes per team, and he obviously isn't. Uh, and he said, look, I've been playing on my wife's account. Is that all right? And I said, look, mate, I'll, I'll check, but I don't think it's cool. I checked with, obviously, the PS4 admins, and they was like, nope, nope, nope. And to be fair to him, he was fine. and said, all right, I'll wait till next season. Um, but again, the problem is, is how do we police it? You know, it's, you, you got to have right. proof. Exactly. Um, I mean, this, the, the, the same, the, the same, the guy they're uh, talking about at the moment. They've got quite a bit of proof. If you've got enough proof, then yeah, you can ban him. But the problem is.
is. He's just going to make another account. So how can how can you go? You know how can you go and do it? By um, unless you can get some sort of IP address wall proof. Otherwise, if you can do that, then that's fine. But they're always going to try and sneak in. I think. Um, see, I've I've got a bit awkward in my house because I've got like two sons who play Blood Bowl um, very well, and uh, you know they they could quite easily you know play on the Xbox or they could play on the uh, the PS4. I mean, my eldest he plays completely mm -hmm. different to me, but my my middle child. I trained him up, so he has a lot of similarities to me, and he's like, oh, yeah, but I want to play all the... Especially when there's cash. You know what teenagers are like? Oh, yeah, make myself loads of cash, Dad. I'm, I'm awesome at this game. And it's like, well, you can't play because I play. Right. And he's like, well, that's so unfair because I'm not you. But I said, yeah, but, Sonny, it'll come across as I could have two gamer accounts. So I'm always, you know... I, I would have been like that even if I wasn't an admin. I think it's a bit more important because I'm admin to be, be careful with stuff like that. But then when I see stuff like this happening, it does annoy me because it's like, you know what? I, I, I've got more of a right to be running two different teams on on because my son wants to play. But then you've got guys like mm -hmm. this who are like, oh, yeah, I've done the concede limit and I'm going to go again. I think the thing what, I'm, what annoys me more about this guy is that he's just building kill teams. So his goal in life, I don't think it's, his goal is even to qualify. I think his goal is to wreck the community and wreck everyone's team right. and upset them and just be a complete prick. You know, that is what he's, he's trying to be. I personally say, look, just keep banning the guy, but he's going to just keep creating things. I don't know. I don't know what you do. I think, me personally, if it was me, as soon as I see him with another team and I know it's him, I'd just be expelling him all the time and maybe eventually yeah, get for sure. It. But it is hard to do, guys. If it was easy, we'd have done it already. Um, so it, it, it is what it is. We, all we can do is, is try... Um, and, and, and see how you go. But again, that's that's something obviously the Xbox admins are definitely working on. They're definitely they're speaking to the ethos and everyone else as well. So they are trying to sort something out. So it has been noted and you know they will do the best. If they can, if they can do some at guys they will because obviously he's just there to wreck the Xbox community. What we know won't work because the Xbox community is stronger than anything else. You know, it's just obviously the new players what you've got to try and look out yep. for because they're the ones it'll affect. It won't affect us. We, you know, we, we we know what it's like and everyone's rallying around like they do against Cass, but, you know, they're doing the same with this guy. So, um, I, I regarding your question, Yoshi, I, I, I'm not very techy. I don't know. If we could attract the IP addresses, then yes, that would definitely be where we could ban him. Um, but again, I think Nethios and the rest of the Xbox guys, uh, they're trying to sort something out, and I'm sure when they've got something, they will let you know. Right then, we have come to right. the big thing. Now then, you've got a lot of pressure, buddy, because Xbox, uh -oh. they got their ass kicked. They got their ass kicked big time. I um, mean, the Battle of the Consoles, Season 1, where basically you get 60 seconds to answer up to 10 questions, and uh, if you score more than your PS4 uh, uh, colleague, then you win that round. Obviously, you draw your buff. Your buff oh, man. Buff. So the pressure's I've on. I've had already. a few PEDs. I don't know how well I'm going to do. Let's find out. I don't out. know, mate. I don't know. PhDs or, or, or being gone to university and all that, that's not going to save you. PEDs. PEDs. What PEDs, the hell's a PED? I thought it's a PhD. Out. What's a PED? Performance performance enhancing drugs. Let's See, there find you go. out. See, Let's do it. Oh, I, I need some of them. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm just, as always, what is always good is I write all the um, things down. There they are. I was just about to say I can't find my questions, but I have them. So basically, I will ask you the first question. As soon as I've asked the first question, then the timer will start. You have 60 seconds. And um, the pressure, the pressure is totally on you. Um, they need, they so need to get off to a winning start. Because, uh, you know, you, you can't be letting the PS4 a lot to spank you again. It, it's just not good enough. So, um, you know, if you lose, you're not only letting yourself down, you're letting your, your Xbox family down. Letting my team down. You're letting everyone down. And obviously, because you're Team Hunter, All I mean, right. I don't think Team Hunter will want you losing because that's just not how they, they roll, does it? Really? So, you know. No, it's not how we roll. No. So, you've got to get it right. So, I've got that time right. Are we ready? Are you I'm ready. ready. To and roll? Okay. I'm ready. Right. Here we go. Which coach has knocked out the top seed in the last two champion cups in the first round? Which coach? Oh. Which coach? Oh, jeez. I don't know that one. You want to pass? Oh, man. I'm. Pass? Uh, I'll pass. 
I, I really don't know that one at all. What, I thought there's going to be Blood Bowl questions. Okay. What, what starting skills does a vampire start with? Um, he starts with... Um, oh, Jesus. Uh, agility 4, Strength 4... Uh, no, the skills. What value. skills does it start with? Not, oh. not the stats, the skills. No, not the stats, the skills. Oh, okay. Um, bloodthirsty and um, alluring gaze. Yep. Anything else? I think that's it. Nope. What what costs more, an elf union catcher or a wood elf catcher? An elf union catcher. So yeah, an elf union catcher. That is correct. Uh, name the th name the three big guys with wild animal. Uh, Minotaur. Yep. Um, rat ogre. Yep. Um, Minotaur, rat ogre, and ah oh, crap, Minotaur, rat ogre. I can't remember the third one. I can't remember the third one. Okay, we'll move on. Because because we had the confusion, I will give you one more question as a bonus. Um, what's the difference between an orc troll and an underworld troll? What's the difference? Uh, an orc, an orc troll has loner and regeneration. An underworld troll does not have loner, and it also has the two uh, things sticking out of its back. The the two um, prehensile tail things out of its back. Nope, that's wrong. Nope. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what they are. Right, I'll, I'll go through them. Right. Uh, which coaches? I'll, I'll just put the Twitch on now because uh, see if anyone's been answering them on there. Uh, oh, little Yoshi's been timed uh, out from streaming an unauthorized link. I don't know. Look at them all. Hey, you, you even had the PS4 crew trying to help you in the chat. Um, which coach has knocked out the top seed in the last two champion cups? Well, the top seed was Space Magic W, and it was Rambo. Good old Rambo knocked him out. Um, Rambo. Yeah. What starting skills does a vampire start with? Well, you sort of got it right. He, um, it was bloodlust and hypnotic gaze, but they also have regeneration. That is actually oh, regeneration. Unfortunately, right. um, what costs more, an elf unit catcher or a wood elf catcher? You are correct. Elf unit catchers cost ten grand more. Um, name the three big guys with wild animal: Minotaur, Rat Ogre, and Yeti. Yeti is the other one. Yeti. Oh, the Yeti. Those those Yetis. Yeah. And the other one, what we gave you: difference between an uh, an orc troll and an underworld troll. Well, basically, the, the, there's only one difference, unless people are going to correct me otherwise. Is they both do have learner. I, I don't. I don't think we're lucky that I'm sure the uh, mutant troll has learner. Um, the difference is that a, a, an underworld troll has mutant access. So you can have claw, tentacles, uh, stuff like that. Right. So there you go. Right, right, so right. you got one right. So at least you got one. One right. One right. As long one, as you guys. get one, you've got a chance. You've got a chance if you get <laughs> one right. So, uh, you know, better than some. Better than some. So. Well, thank you. That's all right. So there we go. That is another um, episode done. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And, um, yeah, we, it, it, I mean, we, we had a crazy start, didn't we? We had loads of stuff going on, you know, talking oh, yeah. about a lot of stuff. Not, you know, we've done stuff like talking about domestic stuff and Christmas trees and everything else. And even the Washington Redskins we talked about earlier. Uh, we've talked about Death Roller and various other stuff. Don't forget, guys, tonight, team battle. Which side are you on? I want, if I can get two, two announcers, that'd be great. So, so I'm not talking by myself. Um, and obviously... Hopefully, some of you will um, go with Team Hunter and some of you will go with Magic and help them out tonight because it's going to be brutal. And it, I don't think and we've it, done anything on anything. Blood Bowl streamed by any format before. So, this is something only the Xbox are doing. So, you guys are going to get your, your spotlight tonight. Um, I'm going to, like, as soon as they tell me what bloody town they want to do it, I'm going to, obviously, I'm going to spam it on uh, the forums and everyone, try and get as many people to come and have, watch this very unique. Very um, game so uh, this is your chance the xbox crew to you know basically join in with the fun and you know put the spotlight on the xbox you know instead of the ps4 the pc so it's up to you guys i've done all the work it's all been done so join us and um, i'd like to thank banana hands you have been fantastic announcer we're gonna definitely have to get you back on again um you're team oh, hunter tonight you. aren't you you are team hunter i am i'm definitely team hunter let's team go hunter, hunter. yeah yeah so all the roles 
Yeah, yeah. You everybody oh. wants to be on Team Hunter for all the roles. I don't know. Um, what else have we got in chat here? Can I join, please? Join what, Tomo? The party, ch the party chat. You can't join the party chat. Is it? Are you on about yeah, the party? party Tomo. I tell you what, you can't come and get crash my party with bloody banana hands. We can't. You know what do you think we have them bouncers outside the door for? No, no, no. You can't What's get the guy's in name? What's the guy's name? Uh, Tom of Hull. Uh, he's he's from Tom my. He's from my uh, Hey. Hey, it's from my shout side. out to you, Tom of Hull. I've played with you. You're a good guy. I'll 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 talk to you later. We've got we've got some some, some important things going on. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. He, he he lives in Hull, where I do. We're both English, and we're both in the same um, city. So, he's got uh, a decent he's got a decent Amazon team I've played against. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, if you're asking, um, can you join the team battle tonight? Then you're more than welcome. You've just got to be out on Team Hunter or Team uh, Magic. If you're on about um, joining me in um, a, another Blood of the Box, then you can certainly do that. That is not a problem. If you wanna, if you wanna be a guest on the Blood of the Box, we can sort that out in the next week or so. So, Tomo, I would be delighted to have you on board, buddy. Uh, but like I said, you've sent me a message. I'll have a look on that. I'll talk to you in a moment. So that's it. We're done, guys. Uh, Blood of the Box is back. Woo, woo, woo. So you know, here we go. Good luck to everybody in the playoffs. Apart from Cass, because he, he, he already, he, he's like Hunter, he gets all the roles. Um, and uh, we'll be back next week. Um, probably, I'm trying to get it for a Sunday. Really, I'm trying to get it for a Sunday. So hopefully by then, we will have, well, two things will happen. We'll have the result of the first round of the team battle. And sometime this week, I'm going to announce the second round. And the second round is huge. It is going to be blockbusting. You're all going to be like, no fucking way is that going to go down. And I'm going to say, yes, it fucking is. So get round yes, one out of the way. Is. Get round two going. Because round two is going to be huge. Round one's going to be awesome, but it's got now on round two. So let's get this party started. Hunter and bloody magic. Stop harding. Get talking. Get it done. All the talking's done. Get on that pitch and start scrapping. I'm Bernie Buffon. Right. This is Banana Hands. We're out of here. Banana see you next hands. week. Take care, Peace guys. Out. And good luck. And see you all next week. Bye, boys.